Hi guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to more Football Manager 2020. When we last left off, we played Sheffield United. No, we did not. We played Bournemouth, got spanked 2-0 by them. And it looks like today we're going to be having a massively tough game against Manchester City. So if you are going to enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share it about, get it socially trending. Be sure to use fatalgrips.com. These are the best gaming accessories in the market. You already know. Use the discount code PRIDAVILLA. You're going to get 10% off. But without further ado, let's just jump into the game. So, as you can see, we've got Man City versus Aston Villa, third versus 16th in the league, and we're playing at the City of Manchester. Mm, yummy. So we're going to continue on, try and get there as quick as we can. Uh, cracker at the Tottenham Hotspur Spadium, oh, it's not Christmas time yet. Uh, available first team players for under 23s. The post match analysis against Bournemouth. We were garbage. <sighs> dear, dear, dear. We got Brighton versus Arsenal. We got Wolves versus Leicester. Who cares about that? Or you want to go to the city of Manchester? Uh, it's 0 0 between Brighton and Arsenal. What a shock. Not uh, we'll just wait for this next one. If you are wondering by the shirt, it is Inter Milan. Why? Because they are the best Milan. No, I'm joking. Um, I really like the shirt. It's a nice shirt. Um, so I thought it'd be quite snazzy. Um, but I also do like Inter Milan. They're probably my favourite um, Serie A team. Um, we could do a video on that if you would like. If you'd like to see me talk about my favourite other teams from other leaves, leave a like in the comment. Leave a like in the comments. Do not leave a like in the comments. Let's go hashtag other leagues Ben in the comments and we'll maybe do it. Five comments. Who knows? Just make sure you do that. All right. All right. All right. We've got the scouting meeting here. Who cares about scouting? So this is a Manchester City scouting report. They've got Sterling and Bernardo Silva playing on the wrong positions. And easy, easy. We can beat them. We can beat them. Easy, easy, easy. Davis wins new Aston Villa deal. Keenan Davis has pledged his future at the club on a four-year contract. Um, it's a very good deal. Newcastle versus Burnley. Everyone loves a bit of Burnley. I just want a button that I can skip to this match. I don't want to have to go through this crap. Because who really cares about this, really? You know, we're all here for the matches. Um, just truth to you. Vasilev pens a new contract as well. It's very good. And that's our under 23s team. We are really low in the table. Um, we've got nine emails to read now. This is going to be interesting. Important dates in October. Not because Aston Villa loan report. Uh, who cares? Uh, Garcia Pitcher recommends Fisher as a top touch. I'll acknowledge it to make you happy. No injuries, no injury risk. Ramsay, goal of the month, has been given to uh, Sun Hyung Min. We've then got El Ghazi in second, and then we've got Harry Wilson in third for that one against us. Okay, we'll just continue on. Possible. Got more emails to read. Monthly financial update. It's all going down. <laughs> Monthly manager performance review. Please with Aston Villa's draw. Happy with uh, fixture. Very pleased with financials. Very disappointed. Disappointed. And very disappointed. <laughs> C D B C C C. You're gonna see me a fight in a few episodes. You know what? How great would it be? Um, when we go to the tenth episode, I get fired. That'd be lovely. I don't care about your scouting meetings. I'm not going to sign any of them. And even if I am, I'd want Ben Rom. <coughs> Come on. Come on. These 
videos must be quite boring to a lot of you because I don't think we get many views on the Football Manager videos. I was fair, you know. There's no way to make it interesting. I could just show you the matches, but then they'd be really short and quick. So I get. I suppose you get to see me be absolutely stupid on this game and understand why I don't play Football Manager, but I play the Villa. Um. Yeah, we've all dealt with these. That's a waste of a new mill. Brad Young, don't even know who he is. Uh, Aston Villa face the impossible. We are not the favourites. Man City will be out with Thomas Partley. Cancelo is a doubt. And Leroy Sorano is just not available. And for us, Jetsty is not available. Who cares? Look at them, little cocky, you shit. We'll send the assistant because I can't be asked to do it. Is this boring? You just keep clicking and pressing responses. They just don't mean anything. We're going to park the bus against um, Manchester City, which is a lovely thing, doesn't it? That means we will definitely get spanked. Uh, we'll hand it over. Question from Gold Stewart Higgins. Why were you not at the Villa game? Um, because I don't care. And everything's just stopped. Go. Pep Guardiola is reportedly looking forward to going up against one of his favourite players in Douglas Louise. Do you have any thoughts on this? Uh, I think Douglas Louise is looking forward to it. There we go. One second. There we go. I just had to turn the charger off so you don't miss that. Southampton versus Crystal Palace. There, nothing happening. Douglas Douglas. Oh, oh it's saving. Rubbish. As we are recording this, next week football will be returning. So I do hope me and Nathan will be able to give you some match previews, reviews, reactions. Basically, we're hoping to be back next week on the uh, 15th of June. Hopefully, that's when we'll be able to give you normal content from this. So do keep an eye out this week because content will hopefully get a lot better. Um, division rivals to square off. Available first team for players. It doesn't matter. You know, I've got Manchester City to look out for, you know? Like, when you're in the army, you know? That's all you got to look out for, you know? Come on. Come on. It's 4th versus 17th. So here we are. We've got Bournemouth versus Tottenham. Burnley versus Brighton. Leicester versus Everton. Norwich versus Sheffield United. Liverpool versus Newcastle. And Manchester City versus Aston Villa. We are the late kickoff game. We've got the FA Cup being played as well. That makes no sense. Bradford, Braintree, Farnborough, Bromsgrove, Sporting, Alfredo, No Way Do. <laughs> uh, Bournemouth beat Tottenham 4 0. Brighton beat Burnley 3 1. Leicester and Everton draw to a 0 0. Norwich beat Sheffield United 3 1. Our positions don't change. Um, Liverpool spank Newcastle 6 0. So here we are, we're going into it, um, not the odds on favourite, our form is poor, we are 16th in the league, we are going to get spanked today. Um, let's see, oh, is there anything we can change? I've got no wingers because both of them are playing. There's just nothing, oh, there's just nothing I can change. Oh. I want, I want to take off Trez again, but I can't because then this is going to happen. Maybe switch them around. That doesn't do anything. Maybe play the game more up front. That doesn't change anything. If anything, it makes it worse. Bring him up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There we go. We'll go with that. Warm up. 
Oh, here we are. We're here. We are actually here. Um, so on the Man City team, we've got Edison involved. We've got Mendy, Laporte, Otamendi, Walker, Fernandinho, De Bruyne, De Silva, De Silva, Silva, Silva again, Bernardo, Sterling and Aguero. And obviously you can see our team over here. Let's go to the dressing room. I bet you John Terry to sit at the back. Although John Terry does not like it in the back. Among the players that there's no real pressure on us here. Let's be calm. We're the underdogs here, and that suits us down. Let's go and cause an upset. Yeah. No one reacted to it. At the lowest score is the Premier Division. What do you prove in this fortune goal? It's all about confidence. No. Let's play. And there's already a highlight as soon as the game's kicked off. Uh, City are passing around the back. We're applying some pressure onto them. Uh, but Aguero's running through. He's in the box. He shoots. It's off the post. And it's shot again. It's just saved for a goal. A kick. Uh, Vida on the left here with a little bit of play. Passing it about quite nice. Engels has lost the ball. And Aguero's through on goal. He shoots. And it's a goal for Manchester City. That is not... A managerial fault. That is just a player fault. So let's watch it here. Ingles has the ball. Fowler's around to run. Aguero is just allowed to run through us and just get a clean shot through straight in. Not in. Through the goalkeeper. That is 1 0 to Manchester City in the opening five minutes. If I can just. 2 minutes 30. And it's another goal for Manchester City. Who was that? But I just said it's a free kick from De Bruyne. It's whipped in. No one's marking. Bernardo uh, gets the goal. Uh, and that's the second goal in 10 minutes. Let's make those changes. Uh, City of the ball again. Passing about a through ball to Walker. Target Walker, Walker. Oh, that's rubbish. Tom Eaton just lets it in. You know, it's constant one-twos with Aguero. Uh, Walker just runs through. He shoots. Eaton just goes through Eaton again. Um, we're going to get spanked in this game. Yeah, well, I'm going to do something you wouldn't imagine. I'm going to make a goalkeeper substitution. <laughs> so Tommy has been rubbish. It's a free kick. He shoots and it's saved, but it's in again by Fernandini on the rebound. Let's see a shot. Save it's post actually, but Fernandinho is there to get it in. We drop down to 18th place. Uh, Villa with a little bit of passing here. Begin through to El Ghazi. El Ghazi, no. And Aguero is off again. Pass over to Bernardo, it's saved. Uh, to Walker. They just pass it about once he shoots, but it's sent over the bar. Let me ask. I think it was my mistake. Tweet. Uh, 
whatever. Oh, I'm bring on Minx then. Confirm. It's true to Walker. It's crossed in. Stones in for 5 0 in the opening half. Ceiling. Fernandinho with a chip over to Walker. It's crossed in and it's to Sterling to Bernardo. It's just shot. Yeah. Nothing to really change in here. I can't skip the game. Because I'm all loose. <laughs> it doesn't matter what changes I'm going to make. I'm just going to get tornadoed. Uh, we do have a bit more possession than them. Uh, but we're just not creating anything. Nothing's going to happen. We've already lost. Oh, and Guerrero's just through again, and he shoots. I bring on Mings. And let's see the mistake that he makes. So De Bruyne to Sterling to Aguero. Aguero's managed to literally just breeze past Mings. And it's another goal. He told me to bring him on. And yeah, look at that. Look, look at this. And you told me to bring on. Okay, we have a... Yeah. Just watch as Aguero runs through us and scores again. And it's a penalty! It's gonna be 7 0 before half time! <laughs> and begins off. Oh dear, dear, dear. Um, bring on the Campbell. No, not Campbell. Yeah. What the. Oh. you in the centre. We'll go for that. Is it the camera wrong? Is the camera going? I think it has. It's 7 0 before half time. <laughs> it's going to be 8. Oh, I don't know what you say. Uh, let's see what John Terry has to say. For my place, it's no problem. Yeah, it just doesn't matter if we get lose if we lose. Look stressed so good, you look stressed. We're losing eight nil. This is about to be the biggest defeat any football side has suffered in the Premier League, I believe. You know, we've gone 10 minutes without having to concede a goal, but that's about to change. Uh, uh, Guerrero's through again, it's a goal. That looks like a. Who's that? Made that mistake. Oh, God. It's rubbish, man. Everyone on this pitch is rubbish. No one, nothing's changing. It's now 9 0. We're most likely going to get fired or sacked. Um, can we just. Let's just have. I just had the full match. Yeah. But not the full match because it's just going to play out this out. Um, comprehensive highlights. So hopefully this will bring it a bit quicker. It's a goal kick, he's missed. We've got El Ghazi here. No, oh, he skipped through. He shoots and it's saved. We've had two shots on the hockey. Oh, it's 10. This is the biggest result in the Premier League history. 
Then I've thrown to Trezeguet, he whips it in and it's saved again. Edison boots it out to Sterling, he's off. To Aguero. To, no, it's cleared away there. And... Oh, just like that, it's easy, it's easy. It's now apparently 12 nil, somehow. I don't know where the 12 has come from. It should be a little one. Hmm. Who knows? I'm really interested to see what the people are going to say. Oh, yeah, great. You plonk. <laughs> you absolute moron. Oh, Pepe Reina there. Yep, look at the ratings. With 13 nil down. It's another goal. It's 14. Um, let's just keep carrying it on. I predicted a Man City win today and they dully delivered. Their fans will dully be pleased with us and the performance will go weird. Tell the boys they did one, that their efforts were excellent. No, you deep shit. There you go. Who cares? Smashed. 13 nil. I think. We've gone to 16. <laughs> no, we haven't. We're 18. Um, humiliation. It just went wrong. Um, yeah. Five ill discipline after seven yellow cards were received. Let's go to our pre match post match conference. Uh, you told your team suffered a humiliating defeat to Man City in sports for five and Royals. You resigned. Um, it was a poor result. The players know exactly how I feel. See what they say the next day. Um, yeah. Uh, the 14 0 English Premier to ask to set a new high record. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's how it's going to be. We're going to end it there. We're playing Liverpool next. We're going to get spanked even worse. Um, so do tune in for that. That will be the firing. If you did enjoy this video, please give a like, subscribe. Um, turn on notifications, check out fatalgrips.com, bish bash bosh. But without further ado, I've been Ben, up the villa with the pride of villa. I'll see you later, boys.